There's new information tonight on the Malaysian plane that vanished. Authorities now say its navigational computer system made the plane turn, not the manual controls in the cockpit. Who programmed it to turn and why is just one of the many mysteries in this story, but it supports the theory the plane was deliberately diverted. No one is more anxious for information than those with loved ones on board. Robin Stickley now on the investigation and the agonizing wait for answers. Somewhere down there. Given the newest information, search teams believe Malaysia Flight 370 went down in the southern Indian Ocean. So the radar will give me pictures of anything big on the water. Big. The 777 is nearly the length and wingspan of a football field. It's likely submerged with a disabled communication system in an area the size of Australia, three quarters of Canada's landmass. 7.7 million square kilometers. And that number is conservative, according to this expert. He says the only hope of finding the plane is to narrow the scope of the search. It's such a large area, it's really hard to mount an effective uh, search. We probably don't have the really detailed images we need from a week ago, which is when we would have liked to have had them. New questions today from U.S. officials about the plane's flight computer being pre-programmed to turn the aircraft west off course. Malaysian officials say it was programmed to fly to Beijing, but... Once you're in the aircraft, anything is possible. Loved ones waiting for words so desperate for information, they're doing the only thing they say they can starving themselves, a hunger strike to get answers. Everyone on the manifest, including the pilot and co-pilot, are suspects. But nothing unusual has been found so far on the homemade flight simulator taken from the captain's home. Those who know him say the father of three has everything to live for. With his character and what we knew of him, it just wouldn't make any sense. For the families of the missing, there's nothing to do now but wait. For the first couple days, all I could do was replay memories and, you know, see him and, you know, open his closet and uh, sm uh, smell the clothes. As complicated and high tech as this global search has become, please come back is the very simple message from a heartbroken nation. Robin Stickley, Global News, Washington.